In this video, we are going to discuss about information security management system real time example. So here information, what is information security management? The information security process or management is the central point of security issues inside the organization. So this plays a very key role inside the organization for all the security issues. And also if, if you take its task is to produce the information security policy such as a policy should cover all issues regarding use of IT services, misuse of IT services and respective systems. So that means you can clearly have this information security management process creates a policy inside the organization for all the security issues like tailgating for password accesses and also for access to IT systems and misuse and use of IT systems actually. You can take an example of a company called XYZ and the company does not have any information security policy implemented. So it can follow ITIL process or ISO standards to implement the policy so that when they have an audit in the future, so they can be easily uh, understand about the ITIL processes and also about the information security process in detail and also adhere to it as per the ISO guidelines. You can see here, since today's IT environment covers many services and technological solutions, it's unrealistic that to expect that one document has all the policy and necessary details or, and issues regarding to it. So this, as this is an IT organization, it might have uh, more and more of policies like security policies and apart from that, we should not expect that to have a simple or a single document having all the issues or policy guidelines regarding that. For example, each of the following areas can have a stand alone policy. That means there will be stand alone policy for each of the uh, areas. You can take password has a separate policy, access to IT systems has a separate policy, backup has a separate policy, clean desk has a policy and supplier has a policy etc. There might be different areas where each one has a separate policy. So these all should be maintained by following an ISO guidelines or ITIL. So you can see here one more thing here. If you don't have any information security implemented in place in your organization. So here ITIL or ISO 20000 gives good guidelines but the most popular thing here is widely used standard information is ISO 27001. So this is mainly and most popularly used ISO standard. So this can be used as information security policy in your company if it is not implemented and it can be used to cover information security for all your IT services issues even if you have any information security process in place. So even if you implement or don't implement it is better or best or good to implement this ISO 27001 policy so that it covers all the ISO standards guidelines so that the information security uh, is maintained in your organization and by implementing this process it is very good in having all the guidelines in your organization when an audit is occurred.